Good morning and welcome to Mrs Mommy's Daily Phonics. We're going to be learning even more sounds this week. Superfox wanted to say good morning and good morning to all those special friends. If you're joining us for the first time, make sure you've got a piece of paper, a pencil and a special friend. Somebody who's really good at listening to sounds. I've got Superfox with me because he's really helpful and he's really good at listening. Is that right, Superfox? <gasps> He said he is really good at listening. Oh, and he's really good at behaving. Oh, we'll have to see girls and boys because sometimes we know he can be up to a little bit of mischief when we're trying to practice our sounds. Is that right, Superfox? He can be up to a little bit of mischief. Oh, like that. He's trying, he's already trying to peek out today's sound. Right, before we begin looking at our new sound, we are going to recap and review some of the sounds that we know already. So make sure you're sitting up, you're looking, and you're listening, and you're ready to begin. I think I'm going to go even quicker today. See if you can beat me to sounding out the sounds on the chart. Great. Did you beat me? I. Air. Ooh. A. O. Oi. Ow. Uh. Or. Ah. Uh. E. Really? Oh, Super Fox said at home you were beating me to saying out the sounds. You were going so, so quickly. Super Fox said you were going super speedy. That's fantastic. Can you give me a thumbs up if you were saying your sounds super speedy? Can you have a go at saying super speedy? It's a little bit tricky, isn't it? Great. Now, today we are going to be learning our new sound. So, we're going to cover our eyes. Can you do that? We're going to count to three and then we're going to say open them to see today's sound. I hope you're covering them. No peeking. One. Two. I hope Zoo Fox isn't peeking. Three, open them. Today's sound is uh, uh, uh. It's two letters that make one sound. Can you say it to your special friend? Uh, uh. And we've met the uh sound before. Can you see it here? We've met this uh that comes in words like twirl and swirl and bird. But today we're looking at this uh. Hmm. An uh and a er. Uh er. Uh. Can you say it to the ceiling? Uh. Can you say it to the floor? Uh. Can you say it to the window? Uh. Can you say it to the door? Uh, can you whisper it? Uh, so quiet. Can you shout it? Uh, <gasps> Sue Fox thought that was very loud. He could really hear that with his big ears. Can you say it in an alien voice? Uh, oh, lots of aliens. Can you say it in? Super Fox's voice. Uh. Great. Today's sound is, girls and boys? Yes. Well done for remembering. It's uh, an uh and an er. Uh. Could you say it to a special friend? Uh. Could you get them to say it back to you? Uh. Yes. Excellent work at today's sound. Uh. We're going to get ready to write it in the air. 
You okay there, Sue Fox? So if you can get your magic pencil out and give it a blow and ready to write today's sound. Uh. Do it with me. Uh. 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 Let's write it down on a piece of paper. Uh. Uh. Can you say it to your special friend? You've got it, that's fantastic. Yes, Superfoot. Well, I'm not sure. Superfoot said all those special friends are working so hard at home saying the er uh sound. But actually, I think it's girls and boys at home who are working so hard. If you're working really hard, give yourself a pat on the shoulder for your excellent listening this morning. I will give my special friend pat on the shoulder because he has been helping me. Now, today's sound, uh, we need to think of some words that we know that have the er uh sound in them. Sue Fox is already scratching his head. Can you warm your brain up? Give it a warm. Is it warm? I'm going to give Sue Fox's brain a little warm. Give your special friend a little warm of their brain. Hmm, some words with er uh in them. No, third has the other er uh sound in it, an i and an er. I know, it's a little bit tricky. Th Superfox thought the word th er d. Third had the er uh sound in it, and it does, but we spell that with an i and an er. Third. Let's have a think then. Oh, I know Superfox. Curl. The snake likes to curl up. Curl has the er uh sound in it. K, er, uh, ul. Curl. Yes, that has the er uh sound in it. Can we think of another one? Hmm. Oh, you've got one. <gasps> yes, you're right. Church. Ch, er, uh, ch. Church has the er uh sound in it. So we've had curl and we've had church. Yes, some people go to church to pray. Church. So we've had curl, church. Let's have a think of another one. Hmm. Oh, you've got another one. Oh yes, turn. Sue Fox does like to turn around. Could you have a little turn? Turn. Could you get your special friend to have a turn? T, er, uh, n. Turn has the er uh sound in. We like to turn around when we are dancing or playing games. So we've had curl, we've had church, and we've had turn. They all have the er uh sound in it. Oh, I've got one. Purse. I have some money in my purse. P uh, s purse. So we thought of four words with the er uh sound in. Curl, church, turn, and purse. Could you say some of those words to your special friend? Curl, turn, church, purse. Did you think of any more? <gasps> you did. Let's, let's hear them. Yes, burn. The sun is so hot, it is burning. Burn. Yes, that's a really good one with the er uh sound in it. Did you think of any more? looks after us. Nurse has the er uh sound in it. Well done for thinking of some other words with the er uh sound. Fantastic. Right Superfox, I'm going to put you up there because now we're going to have a go at reading some words with the er uh sound. Can you remember my turn, then your turn? What was today's sound? 
likes to curl up in a ball. Curl. Did they sound? Super job on reading the earth sound. Did they sound? Uh. Uh, mm, turn. Now it's your turn. Today's sound? Well done. Today's sound? Uh, done and can you just remember on the end that s, this has a s and an e in it. Lock it in. Well done. Today's sound? Uh, ch, uh, ch, church. Today's sound? That was such super reading. Yes, Sue Fox said, incredible reading today. Can we give you a marshmallow clap? Could you do the same at home? What was today's sound? Yes, it was uh. We thought we were going to trick you then, but you're doing such a good job at looking and listening at today's sound. Well done. Your special friends are obviously looking and listening and helping too. Right, now it's time to get our magic fingers out ready. So get them out, go round and round. Can you go up? Can you go down? Can you go to the side? And to the other side? Give them a blow. <gasps> so much magic, <sighs> even more magic. Now hands behind your back. Now we're going to have a go at sounding out the words and then writing them down. And I know you do this so well. So the first word is curl. K, uh, oh, curl. K, uh, oh. Can you show me? Curl. You're really getting the hang of this. Curl. K, uh. Shall we write it down together? Curl. K. Uh. Oh. And I really want you to practice your letter formation today. Curl. Hands behind your back. The next one is turn. T. Uh. Mm. Turn. Turn. Can you show me? Turn three sounds. T, uh, n. Turn. Turn. Let's write it down. Keep sounding it out. T, uh, n. Turn. So we've had curl, we've had turn, hands behind your back. The next one is purse. Purse, and it had something.
something we needed to remember about it. Can you remember? Purse. P. Uh. Purse. Hmm. Purse. Ready to show me? <gasps> Fantastic! You're doing it so quickly. Purse. P. Uh. together. Show me. <gasps> Super work. Church. Ch. Uh, ch. Church. Church. Ready to write it down? Ch. Uh, Church. Ch. Uh, ch. Church. All of these words have today's er sound in them. <gasps> Girls and boys, you're doing so well at writing down the words with er in them. Amazing! You have worked so hard. What was today's sound? Yes, er. And it was this er today. Now, can you think of any more words with the er uh sound? We want you to write them down and even write some sentences. And why don't, why don't you make these sentences even longer? One morning, I woke up and I turned on the radio and listened. So can you make your sentences longer with and or with? Or with a sentence starter like one day? This morning, later that night, we'd love to see these sentences and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Excellent work. Goodbye.